Denture tip number 16, always clean your tongue. I'm talking specifically about using a tongue scraper and a tongue brush. If you're someone that is relatively new to dentures and have all of that yucky stuff going on in your mouth, or somebody who just doesn't clean and brush their tongue, um, I challenge you to go to a mirror and stick out your tongue. If you're not somebody who cleans your tongue on a regular basis, uh, when you stick out your tongue, you'll probably find that it's got a film on it. That film that you find on your tongue, that is bacteria and will cause bad breath. Don't panic because there's an easy solution here. So there are several different types of tongue scrapers and tongue brushes. This is the one that I prefer. It is called the Oral Brush by Dentec. This nifty little brush here has a tongue scraper and a tongue brush. See, it has actual bristles on it. So as far as where this falls in my denture routine, um, I usually do it after I brush my teeth. I start by brushing the tongue with paste and then I scrape it. You can use uh, regular toothpaste or even something like Dr. B's uh, clear dip paste. And my personal favorite uh, concoction for cleaning my tongue is bacon soda and lime juice. And you just make a little paste. I like to do this little homemade mixture about once a week. Also acts as an exfoliant to your tongue. I also wanted to add that I saw something really neat on one of my friend's YouTube pages the other day. Her YouTube channel is Life with Dangers by Tracy Jane. There's a product on there called Tongue, T-U-N-G. And there's a paste and there's a brush. I'm just dying to try it, so y'all go check out her page. That's it. Brush your tongue, and I'll let you know whenever I try that new stuff. Peace. Denture tip number 17, gum guard. So these are the only mouth guards made for denture wearers that are made to put in your mouth at night after you take out your dentures. A mouth guard like this is made for people with teeth and will not work if you take your dentures out and try to put this in. If you wear dentures, uh, you might as well just chunk this as far as wearing it at night. Some guards also help to prevent those wrinkles that you will get around your mouth. It's also really good to give your gums a break and take your dentures out at night unless you have a medical reason for keeping them in. You can also wear gum guard with snap-in dentures and also healing implants as long as there's no teeth attached. So each gum guard will come with a putty pack with a pink putty and a white putty. So what you'll do is within a five minute period, you'll take the pink putty and the white putty and mix them together. And mix them together until they become one solid color. And you're going to roll the putty into a snake and put it inside of here. Then you're gonna put it in your mouth and mold it to your gums. The whole process will take about five minutes. When it's done, it'll look something like this. Mine has holes because of my implants. Really easy, guys. Really easy. Also, you can use code ASHMAC for $5 off of your order. Gum guards come with an instruction manual and even a uh, link to a video tutorial, so it's really easy to do. Also, after your gum shrink, you can actually take that out and redo the putty. What is a soft reline and why is it necessary? Yes, I talk with my hands and no, I can't help it. <laughs> when you first have your teeth extracted, things should be pretty snug. And then comes the impending doom that is your gum shrinking. When the gums shrink, they're going to create all of the space in your denture that you don't want because it's gonna make things very unstable and wobbly. Guys, it's really, really hard to learn to eat and chew and all of that stuff with a wobbly, unstable denture. So the solution to this problem is called a soft reline. You're basically remolding your denture to fit again, but with a soft material that's gonna feel better on your gums. It's a silicone type material. Most dentists do a soft reline at about three weeks to a month. But here's the kicker. You're going to need another soft reline in about three weeks to a month because your gums are going to continue to shrink. Some dentists only give you one soft reline and that is not enough. After that, it's about 150 bucks for another reline. This is your answer. These are temporary reline kits that you can do at home and they work and they're cheap. First up is cushion grip. And I use this on my top denture every few weeks and do not have to use adhesive anymore. 
So this is another option. I actually found this at Winn-Dixie for 90% off. It was like 37 cents and I got a lifetime supply. This one does have a horrible taste that will go away in a few days, but works really well for the bottom denture. This one works well for the top and has zero bad taste. Now, these products are going to make your life a lot easier and save you a lot of money. If you need to know how to do it, I do have a video on Cushy Grip. It's just a lot of trial and error to figure out which one that works for you. Look at this hoodie. For those of you that are wondering, it says, I'm always a work in progress. So true. The faces of the moon on the arm and y'all the back is beautiful too. If you have a question about soft relines, feel free to leave a comment. Bye.